All right, so Mare Leona is now four days away from release or should be coming out Thursday morning from my understanding. And I want to make a video going over all of her main teams and how you're going to be using them. I'm going to do some with PvP battles, some I won't, and I will link my showcases previously down below. But there are some more updated teams, and those are the ones I'm mainly going to be focusing on in this video. I already went over the Fuego team, but I will be re-explaining how Mary Leona works in all the circumstances, because sometimes you are going to be playing her very differently and her builds will be changing so this will be part of the guides build series for mary leona it's going to be two parts essentially this is going to be focusing more on the teams but i will quickly go over it in my full build video for mary leona but for this i think it's very important to give it its own video because she has a solid five teams with so many different variations possible that all work tremendously well so i think without further ado let's get into her teams to start off one that's commonly going to be seen is going to be this one or slight variations will include mainly just having william and mario together and then you could have if you want for the one tap you could put noel okay that's going to put the incapacitate if noel is at two dupes and then if you're confident there's no dot blockers then you can also put fuego to clean up afterwards okay but there is also a very 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 popular team which is currently this one and this is one i'm seeing a lot on jp which is going to basically be double damage reduction but ghost also applies burn block okay or dot block in general so mario might get the or mario and william might get the first combo but if they don't kill anyone or if they kill one person or if ghost stays alive Live, then you're not really getting much out of it okay now i'm just gonna say it like this team is really annoying for me personally especially if i'm just running my normal this normal team right so usually um having ghost in there just to like basically get your dot block and also get up to 90 percent damage reduction is going to be very strong it allows it or it makes it so fuego won't be able to do much so how mario is going to function in this team is either going to be a full dps or a hybrid half half like a defense and magic attack unit so that either you're just using the combo with william to do some damage but mainly to burn and then fuego is going to clean up but of course with this variation of the team you're using mario just to kind of like tickle a bit but essentially you're just getting her for the burns right and you're hoping that the enemy team also does not have a ghost right now you could also play this team with uh black asta to stop the mario william combo from going crazy with fuego this team is basically a fuego um killer right so that's basically how i'm explaining it so either you could go for like this right and then usually charlotte is always good to have right um and then this slot will usually be either fuego right or if you want to go for a quick run, a very quick run, this team is going to have Mario with 40% defense penetration and I think 40% incapacitate. So Mario full DPS should kill pretty much all the teams if you have a very well built Mario. So that's it for like team one, kind of like two teams in one. Now this one is double tank, right? And you're able to play it very slow or very quick. Now, which queen is going to be able to um, heal either first turn if she's at two dupes or go for the anti-magic and try and get the DPS in. So, which queen obviously has a chance to apply three burns on everyone. And when she's at two dupes, each burn, each dot is going to be 10% of her max HP as a heal. So you can get basically three burn, three dots on everyone, 120% of her HP to everyone turn one if you're lucky. And that's going to allow you to play very slow, okay? You don't need to apply the alt first turn and get Black Austin into anti-magic. And you'll be able to play just with two tanks, it's going to be very hard to die. Charlotte keeps on giving barriers. Charlotte herself should have high HP. If not, you can build her with defense. And it's going to be very, very toxic to actually use this team. Um, I will not be showing this team as I don't have Witch Queen built up and I don't have good HP gear yet. Um, I, I mean, I've said this in my last video too, but I'd like to talk about it. Um, I'm slowly getting my HP gear up, but now I got to start just upgrading it, right? I got to kind of put at least a bit into it. Since we're getting William, not William, Nozel soon, I'm just going to get the 2% for now, the gold, because I'm not able to get many purples. And if I get shafted, it's just better for now, at least for me, since I'm not buying any packs for now um, to just do that. But yeah, no, 130k HP, then we've got, um, where is it? We've got 20%, so 20%, that's about like 26k. So um, he, she's at what, 156, and then you've got another 5%. 
So about like 160k HP is not bad. So yeah, that's about how much HP I'd have on like Witch Queen, which would be a 16k heal per dot on the enemy. About, right, give or take. So this team will work very well. Now, similar to that, I do want to show this team actually. Um, my Black Asta is a bit weak, but we'll do it. Okay, so this is my Black Asta's gear. Um, the Mario has her gear, I think. Uh, Mario, yeah, so this is Mario's gear. Okay, and then Zora will put, um, I would like to put Vanessa's gear, but Asta's taking some of that. And Charlotte has hers, so we're just going to give Zora, we have to give Zora something, but this team will work very well, okay? Now, I didn't really explain how Mario works here, but you're going to usually use your skill 2 first turn, so how it's going to work. Charlotte ults, okay? Mario skill 2s, Asta skill 2s, and now you, co you cook, you cook. 90% damage reduction, defense and total defense increase, double tank, and the heals, you're just not going to die. Mario's still going to be able to do some damage if you have a hybrid build, and then you'll be able to just easily stomp, right? Easily stomp. Mario, after skill 2, is only going to be using her skill 1 to taunt, get everything directed towards her, keep on applying the burns, chip away at their life until the damage reduction on the enemy side is up, and then go crazy, right? The good thing for you guys compared to other teams on the, in this case is that Mario and Asta could keep on applying their defenses very quickly, and Charlie could give herself her SP so that Charlotte gets her ult back quick. And the thing is with Austin and Mario, they have a two-turn cooldown where other people for the damage reduction, such as Ghost, William, Charlotte, right, might be longer depending on who gets the SP buffs because it's an ultimate. So just final words. Now for this team, works very similarly, but this one is super annoying because you got the 50% damage reduction. Mario has her 90% Black Asta ain't dying. And then Zora's applying um, magic attack lower to the enemies and giving you 20% damage reduction AOE for one turn and reflecting damage, which is a very big thing. So we have to put Zora in the first slot, actually, but uh, Charlotte could be in the second slot. Um, we'll do it like this. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Um, this team is going to be very good. You're going to be playing slow, but then Zora is also going to have the reflections. And let me see if I have a good gear set for Zora. I don't know like how high I could get him in terms of... Uh, do I have a good... I'm just wondering, do I have a good one? Like, Do I just give him HP or something? <laughs> I could just give him defense, but I don't... I'm honestly not really too sure. Uh, I guess you have to give him Williams. It's pretty mid, but we have some decent gear, I guess. So I guess we'll do this, this, and then this. Like, he'll be okay. It's just a full defense that would have been better, but I just don't have two full defense sets. I don't have, sorry, I don't have three full defense sets because I have these two, which are both uh, almost max transcended. The problem really is that uh, I would need a third, which clearly i do not have um let me put some earrings on though let's take them off uh, vanessa for now and then put them on charlotte so there we go let's put back her skill page before we get into this and then we're going to show them off so yes this team will be very good it's just going to depend is zora going to die quickly or not um i'm going to do some little things for zora and then we'll head in i made him a little bit stronger gave him some gear um changes some of the substat changes and besides that, just unlocked his talents, put the 2,000 defense, and then a plus 3 speed. So he's looking a bit better, but um, if it was all max transcendent with good substats, he might be like 65k. But it is what it is. We'll just go in with this. Um, and yeah, let me show it off. So this is what the team's going to be looking like. Um, the CC is like decent. Asta's CC is quite low, but no, you know he has only two dupes and no skill page dupe. So it's still pretty decent Asta considering those um, facts. So let's just hop into one or two matches. Let's try Mono Red. Why not? Um, if they play slow, that's fine. If they don't play slow, that's also fine. I mean, the only problem is going to be how quick is Zora going to die is basically it. Um, besides that, our Mario is going to be going before... Who is that on? Ooh, that's not too good. That is not too good, actually. Um, okay. So, we're just... Okay, they're going to probably target Mario Leona. Asta should be fine. So I'm going to put this on Mario, and then that's going to go on Charmy, which is unfortunate, but we just want to get the Reflect damage. That's basically how we're going to be playing it, since Mario was um, basically cucked over. Yeah, okay. So not much Reflect damage, but two burns. Okay, that's fine. So she ults. All right. Now, this is going to be the interesting part. We're going to see what happens here. But Asta, almost dead, but he has Immortality, to be fair. Um, okay, yeah. So Zora's dead. It is what it is. Um... 
he gave Mariel the defense, which, like, you could see that defense actually did do something. He's, he, she took no damage. She took no damage, even less than Asta, right? She was taking, like, triple digits, not even quad digits, so, you know. Now, Zora's dead. Makes sense. The Reflect, unfortunately, didn't really play out too well here. I could have went for the skill 2, but I was unsure how exactly it was going to play out. Um, if I went for the skill 2, if we lose this, I'm going to try again by playing the skill 2 just to see. I have not used this team too much. Um, that is my main problem. Uh, but we aren't looking too bad, because if they get Asta into under, then we'll be chilling for that. And Mario has her amazing defenses right now. So, keep that in mind, right? Uh, okay, so we're gonna use this on, um, who? Let's, let's just do Yuno, know, I guess, since we're about to use the ult. Okay, that's fine. We're, he's taunted now, that's good. Can't use the skill one and, or can't use the skill one on anyone else. Alright, now we, well, we have to hit Asta, I guess. Unlucky. But that's fine. He still has, she still has his, um, the 30% from her mana zone damage reduction. So there's that. Keep on applying burns, I guess. Um, that's okay. I mean, I don't really mind that. It's just gonna be, when do they get Asta in anti-magic range? Then they're cooked. Oh, okay. Well, let's kill him. Alright. If we gave that to Asta, we would be in a very good spot. But we did not. Um, we're gonna... Hmm, it doesn't really matter if I put this on besides Charlotte. So we're just going to go for this and then use the combo next turn if we're able. Uh, can we use our skill too? Man, okay. Uh, ooh, alright. Well, Charmy, as long as she is on... They're all taunted to Asta. Shit. Shit, okay. We can't do too much to Asta. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think we're fine. It's going to depend. Asta, don't go crazy. Use your skill too. Oh, okay, thank god, thank god. Okay. Now we could use this. We're going to go for the kill on Asta. That's how we're going to go about it. We have the barrier. Now we have alt. Oh, we don't have alt. We don't have alt. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Mario is going to use... We have to, we have to kill. We have to kill. Come on. We did not kill. <sighs> That's annoying because now they're going to heal. Oh, wait. There's no dots on us. Oh, we have two dots. Fuck. That's enough to heal. That is enough to heal. Um, we're going to use this on... Charlotte, try and get back her combo. Asta has a big barrier right now, so we're safe for that. And Asta is stunned. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Asta stunned though, Asta stunned. We have our skill 2 or no? We do. Okay. And there we go, we won, we won. Oh my god. That was rough, but we did it. Zora did not put in too much work. I'm going to try and find another mono red to see if the skill 2 would be good. Just, just to test it out. So this is a stronger mono red than what we fought, I believe. I just want to get that skill to win, see if it works. And um, we're just going to hop out right after that. Or that that's all you're going to see, just the beginning. See if the reflection damage could be good. I You already saw... It's not mono red. Well, I, well, I guess we'll fight it. I guess we'll fight it. I'm um, using the skill too in this case. Like, uh, Is it really going to... It's not going to help us. Because we use this skill too. It's a one turn buff. It's not going to be, because it's only for one turn, right? So it does work well in some cases, but not in this one. Not in this one. Um, I mean, I guess we just use this, because, I mean, we use this again. Is that really how we're going to play it? Who do we use it on, though? I'm feeling feeling like using it on Mario again, just to let her be more tanky. Because Austin, we want him to take at least some damage, right? So we'll see how this goes. So yeah, no, Asta's going to be doing big damage right now. So that lowers our magic, which is unfortunate. But we do have 90% damage reduction. So we'll see how that plays out. Okay, that will... Oh my, oh my. I didn't think we'd be doing that much. So that's when it is good for... That's when it's good for Zora. It's when you're after, right? When everyone still has it. But in our case, it was very unfortunate. Anti-magic? Okay, that could be bad. I'm realizing now that could be bad. It's called the pen. How much is Asta? Ah, fuck. I should... Mm. Okay, they played it. Okay, Asta lived though. Asta did live. So, you know, we have a pretty decent chance at some stuff. Depending on if we make it to Asta's turn. We'll give him his ult, I guess. Why not? Um, okay, now we can't use anything really. So, unfortunate. The reflection is going to wear off, so we're going to be fine for that. Okay, yep. Yep, take your 200 damage. Take your 200 damage. Next time, uh, against a team like this, I think it's better to use the defense increase on Asta. Looking at it now. So we have to use the alt. We're just going to kill. We did not kill. That might... Okay, hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on. Let's see the buffs after this. Oh, no, wait. But the buffs are going to wear off. Hold on. So, he had Reflection. But he didn't have the defense increase. Um, I guess this does give 20% damage reduction. But still, um, I'm going to blame that on our Asta being very bad. Uh, yeah, because we could have had way more. But it is what it is. So, you know, we saw it, I guess, from this Zora's perspective. How using the skill 2 does actually play out very well. But it just uh, didn't really work out for us because we went first in these instances. Now then, we've got the mono green variations. So these are like the two main ones that you're going to be seeing. Um, and this one is going to be later and not on global yet. I mean, obviously for these two. Uh, well, I guess this one specifically. But Zora's coming out, um, I think like um, less than a month after Mario comes out. So, you know, there's that. But this one's going to be very strong. Reason being, you could run Mario as a full DPS. And you're basically going to survive at least four turns. And then you're cooking, right? So why am I saying this? Well, Mimosa has turn one invincibility. You're not taking any damage turn one. Then Vanessa has a two turn invincibility buff on her ultimate while cleansing bu uh, debuffs. So that's three turns of invincibility. Then Vanessa also gives Mario one turn or immortality when she falls below 30%. And usually that ain't happening in one turn. So Mario is living minimum five rounds. Yep. And then Mimosa heals. She also has a res built in. Vanessa is going to also be giving some bit of healing, increasing SP, Charlotte giving damage reduction and barriers. This team is going to be very good, and it's very annoying to fight. It is, because either Vanessa gives it to Mario, or gives it to herself or Charlotte, and, or Vanessa, or Mimosa, I mean. And if you give it to Mimosa, she could then use her res afterwards, so keep that in mind. Then, um, well, I mean, for this team, you will want full DPS Mario. Okay, I just want to keep that, uh, make that clear because you're going to have so many um, defenses uh, elsewhere that building her full uh, full offense, sorry, building her full offense with full magic attack is going to be amazing. Now, for this team, you could run her hybrid. Okay, these are the three, like, open slots. The last slot could be a couple units. It could be Rill. Okay, this slot could be Rill. Could be Vanessa to make... Um, Fauna untargetable or make Licked untargetable in this case. Where is Licked? Do we have Licked? We do have Licked. So putting Licked here is a good possibility too. But usually you will want to see Fauna here, right? Now this slot could really be... It's kind of like a free-for-all slot. You could put Gul'dary. I don't think we have Gul'dary, but you could put Gul'dary. And that's really going to be it. Um, these are like the main teams you're seeing her on, right? It's a pretty good amount of teams, right? You've got... You've got mainly three variations, you could say. Well, three main teams. You've got the nuking team with William. You've got the Mario Black Asta team. But then there's some some pretty important variations here, right? Um, and then you've also got the mono green team. But still, in that, there's the offense Mario. Then there's the defense, more defensive Mario. Then in here, there's... Um, tanking more and more tanking team and this is more the offensive team and then you got obviously full offense but even in this right as we explained there was different versions so that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video you've already seen mono green a lot i just wanted to show this team mainly see you guys in the next one and peace